One, two, and a one, two, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Good? All right. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, before um, you sit down, just want to go ahead and pray real quick. Father God, we thank you. We come before your throne this morning. We come to you expecting change. Lord, we come to you believing that we will not leave these doors the way that we came. Lord, we come believing that chains will be broken. Minds will be transformed. Lives will be changed. Doors will be open and doors will be closed. Relationships will be mended and some relationships will be broken. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. 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 Well, for people that don't know me, my name is Eric Neely. I am a youth leader here with uh, Christian Faith Center. I am, I am glad to be before my family this morning. It is an honor and it is a privilege to be before my family. Um, I have a lovely wife. Uh, November will be celebrating 10 years of marriage. And I have a eight-year-old going on 28, the one that you've seen up here with the baseball cap on. That was my son, and I am proud to have him in the kingdom serving. Amen. Um, I won't be before you long. Um, please uh, open your Bibles, get your cellular electronic devices, whatever that you have, and please turn to Mark, second chapter, verse one. Mark, second chapter, verse one. When you have it, just look up. If it takes long and you don't have it, just act like you have it anyway. <laughs> and if you never get it, just pay attention. I'm reading from the New International Version, the NIV. And it says, when Jesus returned to Capernaum several days later, the news spread quickly that he was back home. Soon the house where he was staying was so packed with the visitors that there was no more room even outside the door. While he was preaching God's word to them, four men arrived carrying a paralyzed man on a mat. They couldn't bring him to Jesus because of a crowd, so they dug a hole through the roof above his head. Then they lowered the man on his mat right down in front of Jesus, seeing their faith to the paralyzed man, Jesus said, my child, your sins are forgiven. And then I'm going to go down to verse 11. It says, and I tell you, get up, take your mat, and go home. How many people believe that anything that you sit at the feet of Jesus, anything that's paralyzed, anything that's dead, anything that's dormant has to come to life? Um, how many people in here watch Golden Girls or have seen the, the TV show Golden Girls? I, I love the Golden Girls, don't judge me. Um, I think the mother, Sophia, is the most hilarious person on that show. And she, she always starts a show, she always starts a, a, a story. She says, picture it, Sicily, 1902. And then she starts, right? So I'm going to picture it. Christian Faith Center, 2017. Jesus is here. Amen. Jesus is here teaching. Jesus is here preaching. The sanctuary is filled. The outside is filled. The parking lot is filled. You can't get through. But you have an issue. But the problem is you have to depend on your friends to take you to get your healing. How many friends or a family member, or a person, could you even count on to do that? Be real with me. Amen. Amen. And you have, in the, in, the, in the text it says, they showed up, men showed up, and then it says four were carrying the man on the mat. This disturbed me because I'm like, okay, you have men that showed up, but only four on the mat, four carrying the mat, and only four that lowered him down. What were the other men doing? 
and, and I sat there and meditated on that thing, and, and, and the word came back to me and said, you know, because some people just show up in your life just to be seen, but when the hard work comes, they're, they're, they're nowhere to be found. They're nowhere to be found. And um, anybody who likes to take notes and stuff, the subject is, who are you with? Who are you with? And, um, you know, you have friends that want to be seen but don't want to do the work. But on the other hand, you have friends that don't care if they're seen, that are there when it's time to work. And, and, and Jesus showed me this thing. He's like, you know, when you, you have a crowd, when you're dealing with your friends, choose them wisely because you give them access to your life. You, you give them access to your spirit. You give them access to some things that you wouldn't ordinarily do to any outsider. And please just be, be mindful of who you share your information with. Be mindful. when Watch people when you're being celebrated. Because when you're celebrated, some people celebrate, but they don't celebrate. You'll have somebody, you know, yeah, man, boy, you just got drafted to the NFL, man, boy, you the man. Boy, he, he gonna get hurt in about three weeks. <laughs> I, I tell you that boy, he ain't ready, he ain't ready. Well, congratulations, man, let me get a piece of cake. Yeah, give me some, some grape Kool-Aid, we good. Yeah, he ain't built for that. He's going to have about five baby mamas in three weeks. Some people celebrate in your face. And they can wish you the worst in your face without, without you even knowing it. Without you even knowing it. And then you have those friends that are, it was, it was a quote that says, true friends are not there when you're celebrated. They are beside you when they're throwing stones. Yes. Be careful, be mindful of who you're around and when you're around him. Um, having, the, the Bible says, walk among the wise and you become wise. Be careful of the counsel that you have around you because you have some people who try to use you for intention, for their intentions and not yours, and to make, them, make it seem like they're giving you this information to help you. But in reality, they're using you as a puppet. They're using you as a puppet, and, and, and you, you won't even recognize it. And um, also as believers too, we have to be, be mindful of your friends, and I'm not saying you, know, you can't associate with non-believers, but when you do and if you do choose to associate with non-believers, please, please make sure that you're prayed up. Please make sure that you're ready. Please make sure that your soul is prepared. Please make sure that your mind is prepared because there's always a battle. There's always a battle whether you know it or not. Make sure when you walk into the atmosphere that is changed and you don't change in that atmosphere. And in the, in the text, it also says, it says, because Jesus said, because of, well, the, the writer says, because of their faith, not because of the man. And, and when I was reading it, the, the man has not even said anything. There's no record of the man saying he wanted to be healed. There's no record of the man saying that. Hey, guys, Jesus is here. I need you to take me here. There's no record of him saying, I need you to take me somewhere. True friends know what you need in silence. They know that your silence means something. They know that if you have an issue and you're silent about it, they can just tell by your actions about what you need. And their friends, the, the, the paralyzed man friends, their faith, their diligence their progress, their push through, their wherewithal is what got him healed. It wasn't because of the man. It was because his friends got him to his blessing. His friends. 
And it can also be the adverse. Sometimes your friends can lead you far away from your blessings. Far away from your blessings. So be careful. You become your environment. I know a lot. I was one of them people that said, man, I, you know, just because I'm with the drug dealers don't mean I'm selling. You know, just, just I know girls say, man, just because I'm with the girls that sleep with everybody, I'm not sleeping with everybody. The old folks have a saying, if you run with dogs, you what? Get you get fleas. <laughs> you, might, you, might, you might not be itching and scratching as bad as the other people, but it's going to be something that jump up on you. <laughs> you, 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 you going to need a bath or two. You, you going to be up there itching and scratching. And unfortunately, perception is real. Perception is real. Watch who you roll with. Accessory is a crime. You don't even have to. You can be outside the store. They in there robbing it. And you out there on Instagram, Snapchat. And you and you sitting there seeing the crime and don't even know. Cops pull up. You're like, oh. But I didn't do nothing. The gun's on you, too, bro. You're going to do some time. You're going to do some time just, just for being around. You, you had nothing to do with it. That's called a flea. That's a major flea. That's a major flea. And there's going to be some that's going to try to scratch it for you when you get in prison. Male or female. Man, like I said, just be, be careful because your friends can take you to your destiny and they can take you away from your destiny. Um, also, people, when, you, when they say, show me your friends, I'll show you your future. And I say, you show me your friends, I can show you your reflection. Because your friends are a reflection of you. They're a reflection of your values. They're a reflection of your likes, reflection of your likes and your dislikes. They're a reflection of your comfortability in things, what you do, what you don't do. And how do you want to see your reflection? How do you, how do you want people to see you? People say, oh, I don't care about what people say or what people think of me. That is crap. Yeah. Unfortunately, you need people. God put us down here for relationships. We are relational human beings. God uses us. We are his hands and we are his feet. So if you're, playing, you're praying for a blessing and you're just sitting there waiting on thunder to come down from heaven, eh, eh. but you could be sitting there and your blessing can come, a, a, a bum come up and knock on your door. And you're like, ah, get away from me. Get off my car. I don't need my windows washed. You're funking up my mirror. It's a brand new Benz. And you sitting there driving and praying. Lord, I went my blessing. He's like, you just missed me at the light. You just missed me at the light. You, 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 just, you, you just missed one of my angels at the light. All you had to do was get him a burger. All you had to do was pay a dollar. And, and I was going to release this $10,000 check for you. But you was too busy worrying about your things. Worrying about what people think of how they look at your car or what they think when they're looking at you help feeding this man. You worried about too much about that. Worry about the things of God. Worry about the things of me. Be sensitive to my spirit. Be sensitive to my voice. Be sensitive to my direction. Be sensitive to my instruction. And honestly, we have friends because of things that we can't let go of. Sometimes you, sometimes you like to hang around a, a certain kind of friend because they make you feel good. You know, you, you, you like to be one up on them, like, you know, uh, you like to talk to them. So how was your marriage? Oh, what, baby, what? Y'all going through some problems? Mm, 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 mm. It make you realize how good your life is. So you, so you like to sit there, sit there and talk about them. Oh, what, girl? I pray for you. I'm going to keep you around because you make me feel better about myself. 
And sometimes we have issues of the heart that we can't let go. Sometimes we have, you know, uh, emotional issues. You relate to people better. Or you feel better in a crowd because it hides you. It hides your insecurities. It hides your, your, your bad tendencies. And there's a lot, of, a lot of things that can hold you back from getting to your destiny. If, the, if, if, if those four, para, if those four uh, men that helped the paralyzed man were waiting for the other guys to help him, the man would have never been lowered. They wouldn't have never been lowered. So they say, you know what? Forget what y'all are thinking. Forget what y'all are doing. I don't care. This is my boy. We're going to get him healed. So let's go do this thing. Could you imagine? And I was studying like the weather in Capernaum, and they said it's either, it's either hot or it's either raining. There's no in between. So either whether it was hot or raining, these dudes went to the roof of the house lifted this man to the roof of the house. And they said back in those days that the, the top of the houses were flat. They were made out of like uh, dried clay and beans and stuff like that. Because in the, in the summertime, you know, they'd go up there and sit and chill and drink and stuff like that. And, and they, they said there, they clawed through the clay, through the beans for a friend who couldn't speak, for a friend who couldn't talk, for a friend who couldn't walk, for a friend who was just sitting there, yeah. for, just for a friend, because he my boy. Yeah. I don't care if I got a splinter, that's my boy. Yeah. I don't care if I broke my hand, that's my boy. Yeah. How many people in your life do you have that will do that for you? How many people? Honestly. I know people that won't even give me water if I'm thirsty right now. I know family that won't even give me water when I'm thirsty right now. Be mindful of who you let inside your circle. Be mindful of who you're letting inside your circle. And those, those men that were not doing anything, I, I still want to dwell on that because it don't, it don't comprehend with me. Because I'm not that kind of friend. But you also have to be the kind of friend that you want. You have to be the kind of friend that you want. You can't be standing there by the door saying, taking pictures and Snapchatting, yeah, I'm here with my boy. We brought him up here. Jesus is in here preaching. My boy Jesus over there in the corner, shout out. <laughs> and you got four guys carrying him up. And you sitting there Snapchatting, Instagramming about what's going on and not doing no work. And Jesus is like, I, I see you. I got you. I got you. I see you. I got you. And then when you need something, you wonder why ain't nobody around. It's a, it's, it's a biblical principle. You reap what you sow, period. Amen. Just because you save don't exempt you for anything. Sometimes when you save and do it, it kind of requires a little more from you. These friends, men, still sitting at the door. And I'm like, what? You know, sometimes even you, you have to let things and people go sometime. I know if they make you feel good. I know they make you look good. I know it might seem good now. I know that relationship seems fine. But there's always this one thing inside you that's like, eh, it ain't right. But you're like, no, I need this thing. Like, nah, it ain't right. No, I need this thing. Lord, I have issues in my life. Anything that's of you, please burn it out of my life. And then all of a sudden, people start dropping. And he's like, no, I need that one. <laughs> no, no, they work at the DMV. I need that one. No, they can give me, they work at Foot Locker. Mm-mm. I, I, need, I, need, I need that one. <laughs> the Yeezys come out Saturday. I need that one. Or it can be like, oh, uh, 
I just need a man. Or I just need a woman. I need somebody in my life so I won't feel empty. I need this car to make me feel validated. I need this house to make it look like I'm happy because I care too much about what people think. And we're sitting there praying to God to please take these things away from me that are hindering me. But all along, you're sitting there in slow motion. Your, 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 your blessing is right at the end there and you... And you, you, you see it and you... Like your, your mind is like, I can, why am I not running fast <laughs> enough to get to my blessing? I see it. My legs are moving. I know I run faster than this. Why am I not moving? Oh, a strong wind coming. Oh, somebody else came in my life. I'm, I'm going to show you an example of something real quick. When, I was tra- when I'm training, I use a parachute. This is a speed parachute, right? This is who you connect to. Right there. OK, maybe not. <laughs> All right. Right here. These are your friends. You're running, trying to figure out, why can't I go? Why am I going so slow? What is holding me back? Lord, take it from me. Then they take it from me. Take it from me. You start moving. Oh, somebody else come. Oh, Lord, why can't, why can't I let go of this? Why can't I let go of this thing? And it's a training tool. This right here trains you for when you need your event. So your destiny is right there. These people are just training you to get to where you need to go. So when the strong wind comes, you can run through the wind. The strong wind comes, you can press on because you've been through it. When that divorce comes, you press it. When that loved one dies, you press it. When you lose that job, you're pressing. When you get depressed, you're pressing. Because you see Jesus at the end. You see your destiny. I'm going to show you something even better. There's also a drill we do when we run and we get to a certain point and we just unhook it. Just unclick it. We just let go. We run. We get to a certain point. You're gone. But guess what? I had to make a choice to unhook that. Jesus is not going to come down and unhook it for me. It's in my hands. He gave me the power to do it. And he gives y'all the power to do it. You, he lives inside you. We have a better and closer walk than his disciples did with him. He was with them. He's in you. He's in you. But yet still, we still fight with parachutes. I can't let go. I can't. He's not saying you can't. He's saying you won't. You won't. Because you're waiting on me. I gave you the power. I'm telling you to go. Let it go. But you're like, but Lord, but nothing. If you believe that I'm God, let it go. And believe that I will catch you when you fall. Let it go. I was playing with my son one day. And um, you know how daddy do. We toss him around and stuff. So I'm sitting there throwing him on the couch. He's bouncing off the couch. Boing, boing, boing. And we, we have a couch that's probably, eh, probably about the seat is here. The floor is there. So I throw him on the couch. Throw him on the couch. Boing, boing. He bounces off. He's about to hit the floor. He grabs me. Uh. I grab him. Hold on to him. And now, now, mind you, the floor is 
a foot, maybe away from the ground. And he's holding on. And he's like, ouch, daddy. Ouch. I said, what? You holding on to me? He said, I know, but it hurts. It hurts. It hurts me. I'll tell you one thing now. If you believe God is there to catch you, let go. Because sometimes when you hold on something, you're doing nothing but hurting yourself. You're doing nothing but hurting yourself. Believe God is there to catch you. Believe. Parents, you have, you have raised these children to be as good as you can be. Good as they can be. Let them go. Let them go. If you believe the God that you serve is great, like how you say in here every Sunday, every Wednesday, and hopefully through the week, let them go. He will catch them. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. It, in closing, I, I, I just challenge you to learn to let go. I, I know there's a... I know there's a lot of people, and I can see it. I know there's a lot of people in here who have issues that they cannot let go of. Who have people that they cannot let go of. People that they won't let go of. Some of you have things and don't want to let go of them. But I challenge you now, today, to let go. Let it go. Let them go. Let it go. Let them go. Let it go. You have any issues that you need Jesus to help let go. If you want to be the paralyzed man, and your friends, lay your thing at Jesus' feet. Whatever is paralyzed, whatever is dead, give it to him. He says, cast your cares on me. He don't say carry them. He say, cast, don't carry. Cast, don't carry. It's mine to carry, not yours. And we sitting here getting bogged down and getting bent over. So bad that when we look at when we when we looking at Jesus, we can't even see him because we got all this stuff here. We know he's there. But he said, pick your head up. We can't. He said, look at my face. He said, we can't. He's giving you an opportunity here today to let it go. Do not carry it no more. Today it stops. Today it stops. Not today, right now it stops. At 11.21 a.m., April 30th, 2017, he's saying today it stops. But guess what? You got to do the work. You got to lay it to him. You got to lay it. I, ch I challenge you right now. You have anything. God is saying you have anything right now that you need to let go. This is where you need to be right now. You need to lay it right here at his feet. You need to lay it at his feet. You need to let it go. You need to let it go. Anything and everything. If your friends is here and other, your friend don't want to go, be one of the four. Bring them down here because you know they have an issue. You know they have to let something go. Don't be out there hanging around with your friends. Don't care what they say. I'm not living for you. I'm living for my God. I got places to be. I got a destiny to fulfill. God has given me something to do. If you can't roll with me, you rolling against me. I don't need you. I challenge you this day to let it go. 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 Let it go.
Let him go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. And if you do not know this Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, or you have slid back and fallen to the wayside, and you want to rededicate your time, you want to rededicate your life, you want to rededicate your spirit, come up here too. You want to meet this Jesus? He is here for you. He loves you. He doesn't care what you did. He doesn't care what you do. He loves you for you, not what you do, not who you are. Because of, he loves you because of whose you are. You are his. You are his child. Let it go. Y'all still in here fighting. Let it go. Y'all don't understand. This is serious. This ain't time to play no more. This ain't time to play church no more. Forget the faces. Forget the mask. Forget who out here. This is for you. This is for you. This is for your family. He's giving you a chance to set free, to break free. Recognize when he's here. Recognize it. Raise your hand. Saints that sitting in the chair, pray for these people like they're your family. Pray for these people. There's some things up here. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand. This is for real. They're not playing. This is for real. Everybody raise your hands towards heaven. Lord, we come to you today laying everything at your feet because we know anything and everything that's laid at your feet has no choice but to come to life. Anything that's not of you has to be burnt out. Lord, let your Holy Spirit fire burn it out. 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 I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Understand this, though. Listen to what I'm about to say and understand it. The war is already won. 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 The wars are already won. The war is already won. The wars are already won. The wars are already won. Let go. Let go, let go. The wars are won, but guess what? Guess what? It's gonna be an everyday battle. It's gonna be an everyday battle. The war is won, but the battle is every day. But guess what? We don't have to fight it. We don't have to fight it. We have a Father in heaven that just says, give it to me. Just give it, I'll be, give me that thing, I want it. I want it. I want it. Give me. Give me. All we got to say is, yes, Lord, give it to me. Yes, Lord, take it. Take it. Take it. Come on. Give it to him. 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 Come on, give it to him. Give it to him. Jesus <laughs> right now was here in front of your face and said my child is gone my child is taken how would you react how would you react how would you react
Hallelujah. How would you react? How would you react? I want everybody to pray this prayer with me. Say, Father God, I give it all to you. I repent. I ask you to forgive me for my sins. Lord, I ask you to come into my heart. Be my God. Be my Lord. Be my protector. Be my guider. Be my strength. Be my healing. Be my sight. Be my hands. Be my head. Be my eyes. Lord, I ask you to lead and guide me. Show me my direction through this everyday battle. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.